Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Marisa, and if it is your first time here, thank you so much for watching today and joining me. So today I am going to be doing a project share using my BB Craft uh, art supplies that I received recently. So let's get started with the project share. Hey guys, so today I am doing a project share using my beautiful BB Craft um, products that I got recently um, in my last video and I will link it right here. I just did my unboxing. So today is a project share and I made some beautiful things with it. Now these I made already but what I did was I added the wood dowel and I did add the BB Craft um, fabric washi tape to this rosette and I also added the resin piece that I made last month with the BB Craft. Um, they're like sea creature mold. This is a little resin shell. So this I love again. This is not a magnet, magnet this time. So I did add the wood dowel and this very, very cool fabric washi tape. I really, really love this because it works very well. It sticks amazingly. It has a very good adhesive on it and I just love it. So that was one thing I made and let's put that here. Now I made this Memdex card and I, this is another die I use. So we're not talking about that. I added this these beautiful gems and here they are they come in strips and they are all adhesive look how about how much that sparkles just gorgeous I love I love using these because this adds a beautiful touch to whatever you're doing so I did add um, this is the other side to the memdex card but this is the gems so I added to something I already made using other products, but I just wanted to add this. All right, so that's the Memdex card. Now, Memdex card. So this is the project I did using only BB Craft products. This is called a loaded bag, and you could add gifts to it. See, right in there, and I made a little pocket. So I'm gonna to explain to you what I used. So first of all, I use this gorgeous paper. Look at this beautiful, beautiful paper. From I got this from Hobby Lobby. So these are the only uh, products pretty much that is not from BB Craft. So this beautiful paper from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I used both of them and I'll show you in a minute. So let's start off with the dies. So these are the flower dies that you use in your die cut machine. You can actually do these by hand too. I have done that. But basically you, you have all different sizes. And here's a, they have, actually have quite a few sizes here to very, very small. So let's get those. See how cute? So you run them through your die cutting machine and then you just layer them and then you get these uh, very nice 3D flowers and you can just layer them and you just glue them all together. So that's how they came out. And the only other products I used were from the Dollar Tree, just this little um, bling right there, the little pearls. Um, and here they are. So that's the only other product I used that was not from BB Craft. So that is that. Then underneath it, Okay, I used the beautiful stickers. So I used some of these stickers here uh, that came in that scrap uh, booking kit, uh, scrapbook kit, um, or paper craft kit, and they came with a lot of different stickers. They're so beautiful. Okay, so I used some of those, which right here and here. And also I put these beautiful, I love these stickers because they're transparent. 
and you could see the paper underneath it. So it says, I dream my paintings, then I paint my dreams. That is like literally perfect for me. And here's another little sticker right there. Yeah, so that is the stickers. And here's the other paper on the side that I used to make my pocket. All right, and let's see what else is next. Oh yes, then I use this paper punch. This is a border paper punch with music notes. Okay, that's there, and I use it right up here. And I punched the, uh, the border here at the top of the bag. Then I also use these again, and I just put a little bling on top there. Look how pretty those are. If my camera would, I love that. It actually has a shadow. That's very cool. So here's the bling, and then I use the paper punch right there. And I also used the washi tape I used the last time, this one. Very pretty. And I use that right along the border here. And this paper, all these stickers and the paper just go so well together. My favorite part is this beautiful black lacy tape. So this is the tape right here. And it's just gorgeous. So here, it's very easy to use. So pretty. And it just made this whole project pop it just gave a beautiful touch I just I love the way this came out this is probably one of my favorite um, loaded bags I have ever ever made so what I'm loading it with that's why I just wanted to kind of add these things I put the little memdex card in there and then I put the rosette in here and that's how I would present it to someone. I would probably also add some paper, maybe so obviously some other goodies can go in here, go inside here. But this is a beautiful thing that you could create, a beautiful project you could create to give to someone's birthday for whatever, uh, whatever you want to give someone a gift for. And let's see, the last thing, oh, right. I did use these scissors to cut most of... Um, the stuff, the tape, and they work very well as you saw in my last video. If you watched it, go and watch it. Uh, these actually work very well. Again, and I thought these were like very like uh, child scissors, but uh, or maybe child proof scissors, but these are actually very, very sharp. So they work very well. And the last thing I did, and I just tried it because I just ordered these. I've never bought these before. This Distressed Oxide by Ranger. This is uh, ink. So these are ink pads in that color. Whoops, I think this is called Festive Berry. Sorry, so I lied. <laughs> I did add, use one more um, item. And this is called Victorian Velvet. So I got these off of Amazon. Okay. And what I did do at the last minute, I wanted to try the stencils. So here are the stencils. And I used my little brush here from the Dollar Tree. And I actually just added, just because I just wanted to try out the stencils. And I added these beautiful butterflies right here and right there. So this is absolutely gorgeous, and I love this because it's like distressed ink against like this kind of very old, antique distressed paper, or like the paper is printed like that. So that is my project share. So I hope you enjoyed that. So real quick, I will be right back, and I'm going to show you how very easily you can use these stencils. And I'm going to do it on a scrap piece of paper, okay? And I just want to show you really quick how to use the stencils. Hey guys, I'm back. So I, what I did do was I used some of this painter's tape that uh, painters use um, to just edge out certain areas of your walls. And I like this tape. I use it all the time. 
because when you lift it up, it doesn't rip the paper underneath. So this time I'm going to use this very intricate heart. Here you can see that a little better. Uh, this part of the stencil. Okay. And this actually works pretty well. The, my Dollar Tree um, little stencil brush. And I'm going to use this color this time, the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide. So this pad was a little too big for me just to tap down on it. So basically, I am just going to get some pigment on here, some ink, and just press down on that so I really get it in the brush. And this is actually uh, washes out very easily. And now I am just going to tap it in here. And you just keep on doing that until you get enough pigment. And you can mix the colors too, I am sure. So keep on doing that until you get enough pigment in there. And actually, you know what? I'm going to add a little bit of this Festive Berries as well. And I'm just going to mix it. Okay. I'm going to add some to the bottom here. Just really get it into those grooves. All right. That should be good. more. All right, that's good enough. So, here you go. And now you're going to take off your paper. I mean your paper. You're going to take off the tape off your paper. <laughs> okay, see? And this pops right off. And, whoops. There. Beautiful. Wow, this is gorgeous. And it really goes nice with this paper as well. Uh, this paper is, actually, paper is actually from Stamperia. And these two colors together actually mix really pretty. So these stencils are really awesome. And I can't wait to use them. I'm probably going to use other ones. Maybe I'll use these two. Um, in my painting, I'm, I am going to be doing a painting tutorial. I'm going to do a paint pour. And um, in my last video, I gave you a little sneak peek. And I will be using these stencils, and I'm going to show you how to get crisper lines in your paint pouring when you're doing stencils over a painting. So it was a little trick to that. So this is the stencil from BB Craft. I love these. These are very, very pretty. Look how pretty that is. Very nice. And I just really, really enjoyed using all the products that I got from BB, my paper craft um, products I got from them. I just love this die. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love that it came with so many different sizes. And all the products I got worked perfectly together. The bling, the dies, the paper punch, the uh, washi tape, all the stickers are gorgeous. This beautiful black tape is beautiful. So I am really happy with everything I made. So guys, um, just very, very quickly, um, as you know, they have a YouTube program and um, the link will be in the description below. I really suggest you take uh, you check them out if you do any type of art or crafts or anything and you have a YouTube channel that has at least 100 subscribers, you can apply for their YouTube program. So all of the links will be below the YouTube program, the BB Craft website itself, and the products I use today from BB Craft will be in the description below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial, tutorial and the project share that I did today with using the products. I am really, really happy uh, with this project and I hope you are happy with it too. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get to see more more 
beautiful projects and paintings. I do resin art. I do paper crafting. And you don't want to miss what is coming up next. And you could follow me on social media. My links will be down below. As well as all of the BB Craft links. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.